Hi guys, hope you're doing great. Our today's question is best time to buy and sell shop to. So the question says that you have an array prices for which the ith element of the is the price of a given stock on day i. Design an algorithm to find the maximum profit. You may complete as many transactions as you like. That is buy one and sell one share of the stock multiple times. And there's a note that you may not engage in multiple transactions at the same time. That is, you can sell the stock before you must sell the stock before you buy again. So the question uh, tells us that this basically this array is the price of uh, stocks on the given respective days. And we can complete as many transactions as we want and we need to find the maximum profit. And before buying any stock, we need to have sold it already. So we cannot hold multiple stocks with us at the same time. Right. So um, since we can make any number of transactions, we will basically try to find out the peak points in the given array and just try to use them to find out what is the, is the maximum profit that we can make. So, for example, okay. So, for example, we have uh, ten, fifty. 500 okay so we know that we can we will we'll obviously buy at 10 and we would want to sell it at 500 right but if we look at these numbers the output that we would get is uh, by buying at 10 and selling at 500 is 490 right um, but if we just combine 50 minus 10 which is 40 and 500 minus 50, right, um, which is 450, we again get the same number, right? So we can use this approach to simplify the solution that we write. If there are any dip points in this, for example, after this it becomes 1, the output would still remain the same in terms of the method that we are using. So we will essentially check that if my price at day i is smaller than my price at day i plus one then i'll just calculate the difference and add it to the profit because it will be a cumulative sum of all such differences um, irrespective of if we are getting a bigger or a better value uh, sometime in the future it would still combine and make us go and reach that particular amount so let's get started with the solution which is like really really quick so First, we'll just check if prices dot length equals equals zero. Then we obviously have to just return zero because there are no stocks. Uh, after that, we have our value called profit, which is equals to zero. Okay, and we'll just run a for loop starting from zero to i less than prices dot length minus one because we will be we'll be checking i and i plus one so we want to leave that one element scope and i plus plus okay so now we'll check that if my prices of i is less than prices of i plus one right then to profit we just have to we, we just have to add prices of i plus one minus the prices of i okay and then at the end we just have to return profit okay Okay. Yeah. So the time complexity for the solution is O of n. We are just traversing each element in the given array once, and the space complexity is O of 1. If you find this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. If you think there is a better solution to this code, to this to this question, please comment in the comment section below. 
keep coding and take care guys